So you've got hardly any coins. You're crap at defending. You don't know what to do. FIFA is running you down. I know what we can do. Sweaty, five at the back, 10k squad builder. Let's get into it. What is going on guys and girls? My name is Van Gilf. Today we've got for you 10k, five at the back. We've got three leagues in this as well. It's something for you guys who haven't got a lot of FIFA coins. You don't want to buy the coins. You can't afford the FIFA points. It doesn't matter, you can still make great teams with hardly any coins. In goal we've got Moya, Atletico Madrid goalkeeper. Obviously they have got a couple of good goalkeepers now, they've got him and they've got Oblak. But I decided to go for this guy, Spanish, he links him with one of the defenders who isn't in the Spanish league. We're going to get onto him in a moment. He was actually really good, he surprised me, I was expecting him to be bad. I've used a couple of goalkeepers that looked promising but was terrible, so it was good to see how good he was. We've got the first centre back now, he's the slowest of the three, he's got a high... Um, attacking work rate and a medium defensive. The reason I did this is because I wanted my middle defender to push on on the strikers so he could cut in interceptions and stuff like that. Um, on the other side we've got Anigo Martinez who was one of the most overpowered defenders last year and he is again very overpowered this year. We've got Flano on the left hand side who's quite a good defender as well. All these defenders are dirt cheap. In fact well this entire squad is dirt cheap. Like I said, for those of you who've got hardly any coins, this is going to be perfect. But I enjoyed using this defence. The back three were really quite good. The only part of this squad builder that I didn't really like was this guy, Nacho Monreal, on the left-hand side of the pitch. I think it was the medium-high work rates. He's more defensive than he is going forward. And with these wing-backs, you need to have a high attacking work rate. This guy, wow. Do you see that goal? What a goal. Well, he is quality. We've got DeMarcus. I've used him in another squad builder. That will be in the description below. But he's good going forward, good going back. Used to be a centre attacking mid, so that's probably why he can pick out a pass and shoot. We've got Javi Garcia now, who used to play for Manchester City, now at Zenit. Um, he's probably one of the most physical players I've used so far. And he's very, very dangerous when it comes to attacking corners. Uh, that physical stat really does show. We've got Diaby, who is probably one of the most well-rounded midfielders on this game he's good going forward good defensively he gets shattered though because he's got high high work rates it's just a clip here of me showing exactly what he does he puts in the work all over the pitch and he's going to get uh, in the face of your opposition players um, we're going to go for Valbuena as the cam I actually made my squad completely around him I was thinking of cheap cams to use and he was really good last year for me and we scored two cracking goals with him there that chip there is just beautiful uh, we're going to move on to the left striker now. A couple of people have said already they've tried Gomez before and they didn't like him. I actually quite liked him. He scored a couple of good goals for me. His finesse shot seemed really good. Uh, he's a good physical player. He's not very quick, but um, the striker next to him kind of complements how he is. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, we scored like four goals of him, which is quite nice. And this is a lovely finesse into that far post. And yeah, if we just get a couple of easy kind of one-on-ones with the goalkeeper. And we're moving on to the other striker now. Um, he's actually from the same league as Valbuena, if you haven't guessed. He gets a strong link into Yavi Martinez. Yavi Martinez? Is that his name? Garcia? Yavi Garcia, that's the one. That's the buying one I'm thinking of. But it's Rondon. He's got an inform card that's quite cheap. So if you've got an extra 10k, go for the inform card. Why not? Um, basically, this is the squad. He's got four star skill moves, which is very useful of a striker because he's the more creative one, but he's physical and strong and fast as well. So he is one of the perfect strikers on the game. There's a couple of them. He's up there for me. But anyway, that's the end of the squad build. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a very nice, very cheap squad for those of you who are just starting out. A few leagues in it as well. So drop a comment, drop a like. Uh, let me know what you think. Subscribe for more FIFA 15 content. And if you've got any leagues or anything like that, just drop it down below and I'll try my best to get them done. Thanks so much, you guys, and I will see you next time.